What's up, guys? Average Tech Guy here. <laughs> Today's the day. K830 by Logitech. Let's check it out. So this is the Logitech K830. Now, this is a wonderful keyboard that is basically going to give you everything that you need. It's Bluetooth keyboard, trackpad, shortcuts, everything that you would need and want for your iPad with iPad OS. So let's take a look, starting from over here on this side, you got a trackpad, you got left and right clickers, you got volume up and down and mute. Coming all the way across the top, you have tons of shortcuts. It even has the F1 to F12 buttons. Uh, you got sound control, you got music control, you got everything that you have on a standard keyboard. But the main question is, will this work with iPad OS? Well, let's check that out. First off, let's do a little more real estate. Uh, I wanna show you up top, you actually have on off up here, it charges. So that's a good key point to notice it has a battery on the inside so you don't have to replace those batteries and you have a mouse option button over here nice feet on the bottom rubberized grips so you don't have to worry about it and nothing else to talk about so let's sit this thing down let's get it paired up and let's make sure that this will work with ipad ipad os so behind me ipad 11 that is my mainstay that is my go-to this is the device that i use on a daily basis uh, i'm gonna first off turn this on and set it up in bluetooth mode and this might already be paired i've used this with my ipad before so let's check this out going into bluetooth um do i see k830 in there it is in there so let's see if it's actually already going to register so we may have to re, oh, there we go. It went ahead and connected. So I've used this with the device before as a keyboard, but with the introduction of iPad OS, now we're going to get into the actual mouse side of things. But first off, since we are on this screen, let's try out some of these shortcuts. So I'm gonna see if I can take it home, which that did work. So correction, there is no shortcut for the screen brightness or dim on here. You do have volume control, which you can see the volume is going up up, up up and going down 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 then none of these are doing anything down here mouse control let's see that's a big one because that's the main reason we're using this let's go to it mouse is working let's try a tap we're gonna try a tap tap does work so the touchpad itself has no hard press feature if you want the press feature you're going to have to push on a button over here. So you click on that and boom, there you go. So the actual keyboard or the, the actual trackpad itself does not have the hard press like the uh, K600 did. But for right now, we do have a button down here for left and right mouse. Typing on this is a breeze. And if you know from any of my videos, I'm not a typer. so. But keys are nice and fluid, they're nice and responsive, they're clicky, no issues whatsoever. It's picking up every key that I'm touching on, everything works great, everything is perfect. So if you want to actually pair this, since it was already paired, um, I'm going to show you guys how to pair it. I'm going to forget this device, forget that we ever had it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, hold this button down, FN and your Bluetooth button right here. You see that green light starts blinking, it puts it in that pairing mode. You're gonna just look for it, tap it, and it's probably gonna tell you to type in a different sequence of numbers. Okay, pairing unsuccessful, let's try again. Okay, 933-890. FN and Bluetooth button makes this light blink. Once it blinks, it's in pairing mode. Another feature that I did not show you guys was one of the best features about this keyboard and a lot of people had an issue with the K600 because of this. Let's get some of this light. All right. One of the best features about this keyboard is, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, 
there we go it is backlit so we'll wait for that to go away okay and we'll press and boom there we go so if you're in a dark room a dark setting and you need light you got a backlit keyboard which is a great option and it actually fades away with a little bit of time and you can adjust the setting right up here so it's a pretty good keyboard I haven't had any issues out of it it's done a great job for everything that I've needed for it to do so let's run through some of these key features again first off we just talked about talked about the backlit keyboard you got that you have the shortcuts across the top you can control your music you can control your volume you can go home if you need be it has Bluetooth connectivity it also comes with the unifying dongle that you can hook up and it works that way as well this also connects to Android TVs. If you have Android TV, you can connect this to it. It's only a single device at a time. And then you have your nice keyboard with tactile keys, responsive keys. You actually have a trackpad over here. You see my cursor moving back there in the background. Two fingers gets you a scrolling option, which is extremely convenient. Then you have left and right buttons down here for your mouse to click on those. Um, you have a powerful lithium ion battery in here that this will charge it charges through micro USB adapter. I've charged this thing like twice since I've had it. I've had it for like six months or so. So you don't have to worry about the battery going out on this. You have a nice on off switch rubberized feet on the bottom. So it's not going to slip and slide. What more can you ask for? So great device and you're only gonna pay about 60 bucks for it. Now generally this device will run you about 100 bucks but a lot of times at Best Buy you can get it on sale. I picked this one up for about 60 bucks when I got it. So check them out on a frequent basis and they may be able to help you out and get you that hookup on that sale price. So with this combo, you have basically turned your tablet into a desktop. There you go. No longer a laptop because it's not connected physically, but you got a keyboard here with a trackpad on board and you got a screen here. You can just push this back, do what you got to do, surf the web, take care of everything that you have to have in a convenient form factor. So I'll drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. Hope this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.